Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Emily. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I put out videos every Tuesday and Friday. I have a lot of book content, which I'm very passionate about, but I also do some lifestyle content and some travel content. I'm also an actor, I'm a singer, I live in New York City, so if any of that sounds appealing to you, go ahead and subscribe. Today, I'm just going to kind of be going through my morning simple, light, easy, kind of natural, yet elevated summer skincare, brief makeup, and hair routine. I think it's so important, especially as someone that works from home. I don't have a lot of time in the morning to like do my makeup and stuff before I kind of want to get to work, but I do like feeling a little elevated. It really makes a big difference. So this is kind of how I get that inner glow. Just kind of feel good and ready to start my day. So let's just get into it. The first thing I do, which I'm not gonna do in here, I just did it. I wash my face with this kale and green tea spinach vitamins superfood cleanser from youth to the people this is amazing i've been using this for a very long time now it's a little expensive it's like 30 something bucks but because it's expensive i went off it for like a few months and i just noticed such a big difference that it is totally worth it to me so i'll cleanse my face with that and then i'll do a little mario badesco rose water spritz followed by glow recipe watermelon glow pore tight Toner. I apply pretty much everything with my hands. I just find that, I don't know, it like wakes up my skin a little bit. Just kind of gets everything going in all the right places. Oh, I also start out rolling my face with an ice roller. Kind of just as I'm having my coffee and reading and stuff, just to wake up, honestly, like my brain kind of. Okay, next I do these Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Dew Drops. These smell so good. It's such a good summer scent, and it just kind of gives you that slight glow. I'm a really big scent person too, so I like my morning products to really smell refreshing and like rejuvenating and energizing. Go for the neck. I always incorporate vitamin C in my morning routine, so I have this Vita C cream from Green Tangerine. A lot of these are travel size because they are samples, but I have like the full thing that I'll be using after. I probably should be using that now so I can actually travel with this, but here I am using all of my travel size stuff and I'm not traveling. This stuff is amazing. Like if you're looking for like a really good vitamin C product, I highly recommend this. I just feel my skin like absorbing all of it. It's amazing. I don't do this step if I'm not going to be putting on makeup, but if I am going to be putting on makeup like today, I do like to put a little rosehip oil on just to keep my face extra moisturized just a little bit. At night, I use this every night from using it in the morning. I just do a little bit to make sure, you know, my skin is prepared for the products I'm about to put on it. I do this Summer Fridays eye cream. This is, again, one of those products that, one of those products that is a little more on the pricey side. Not super expensive, but for someone like me, it's on the pricey side, but totally worth it. Like, no other eye cream does it for me. I always put a little on my eyelid as well, because that's very thin skin, very sensitive. And I do this, I think it's Laneige. Some people say Laneige, but I think they're probably wrong. I use this lip mask. I know it's a lip sleeping mask, but we all use it when we're not sleeping, so let's not pretend. I really like the vanilla flavor because I like vanilla scented things. I don't like vanilla ice cream though, not a fan. And then I use, obviously, especially in the summer, but literally all the time, SPF. I use this Innisfree. Um, Inus Free. It's SPF 36, which ideally I would be using 40 and above because that's what a woman giving me a facial who looked like she was 30 but was really 55 told me. But you know what? 36 is close enough, and if I'm like out sunbathing, I'll put like higher SPF on. But just like day to day, this is kind of how we do it. And this I make sure I get on my ears and like kind of in there as well. And close to my scalp and also behind my neck. So all of the product is on. Now it's time to gua sha. My mom hates watching me gua sha my face for some reason. So mom, look away. There's a lot of really great videos on gua sha technique, which I probably should watch. I used to gua sha at night. I actually think it's better to do it in the morning because it just really like gets the blood flowing. Like after like you, you wake up and you've been asleep and not moving for a while, it just, it makes sense to me to gua sha in the morning. You can see like my face, this side of my face is, you know, has some nice blood flow going. My 
frownies have really been paying off. I wear frownies now probably like three times a week. I did it every night for the first month and it really has helped with my like forehead lines and stuff. I can leave a discount link below. You can use my code EMILY10 for 10% off. It's basically just a non-invasive, non-toxic, eco-friendly, affordable Botox alternative. You just stick stuff on your forehead and amazing so now i'm gonna go into like i said a light makeup look this is my base cosmetics makeup bag it basically has all of the makeup i use in it i'm very minimalist when it comes to my makeup like i don't like to pour stuff that i'm not gonna use i think that's very wasteful and it's also just nice to have everything in one place so again this look is like everyday very simple minimalist so if i'm going out to even just like a fancy brunch or something i might do something different but this is just like for me every day day to day simple quick yet effective and elevating so the first thing i do it's so nice it comes with this little mirror i'm trying not to shake the camera it's kind of hard though okay so i need to trim my eyebrows um i take this milk blush stick and i actually put it on my eyelid i like the idea of using that like blush um, colors like all over my face in the summer because it kind of just makes you look a little sun-kissed and gives you a little color I've never like self tanned or anything so like in the summer it's not super important that I look tan to me personally but I do like to have like a healthy like sun-kissed glow and I think that this definitely helps then what I'll do is just kind of go in with a little neutral color and just kind of Make it a little matte on the lid so it looks a little less like sweaty, but not so much that it takes away the glow. And then I go in with a chocolatey kind of color eyeshadow and I do a slight eyeline on the top. And I basically just bring it into my pupil and then extend it out very slightly. It's just a little something something, um, especially because I have really dark features. I feel a little naked when I don't have just a little something to line my eyes with. Sometimes I'm really bad at it. I feel like it's it's just hit or miss, and when the cameras are rolling, it's usually miss, so. Sure, just a little bit more. If I'm going anywhere like remotely special, I might put a little Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood filter on, but honestly in the summer, like I really don't like putting stuff on my face, so I'm just gonna go in with this REM concealer. I reviewed this in my previous videos. Um, I think it's a little light for my skin actually, which has never happened to me, um, but it still kind of works. So I just do a little bit under my eye. What I really like about this concealer is that in the video I reviewed this product and I compared it to the Tarte Shape Tape, which was like my tried and true for the past probably like five years as it is for many people. And what I like about this concealer is that I don't feel like it, it comes on as like oily and it doesn't need as much powder to kind of tame so i'm just overall like using less makeup which is really nice but i do think that this color is probably slightly too light especially for the summer so i'm aware i'm aware of that but that's okay this is in the shade 2n just put a little on my nose a little like on my frown lines a little on my chin and what's cool about this concealer too is like it really where my face is like oily from makeup or from skincare, it, it really does kind of make it look a little bit more matte. And it's like, I feel like in the summer, the thing I struggle with sometimes is finding the balance between like being glowy and being completely matte. Like I don't like to be too glowy to the extent where I literally look like a placenta. I don't like to be too matte where it's like there's no glow going on. I just take this e.l.f. Um, Perfect Finish HD powder and go in under my eye. My eyes. Alternative to this is Charlotte Tilbury's powder, um, but it's just a little expensive and this is a really nice um, kind of cheap alternative. So I'll just kind of put the powder anywhere that I have put the concealer as well as just a little bit on my forehead. Get that shine out. Oh, perfect. Amazing. So now we're gonna add just a little bit of color to the face. So I go back with this. I like to have like bring the same color in my cheeks as I do on my eyes or even if it's like with a bronzer. The same thing, I just, I like to use stuff on my eye that I'm using on other parts of my face when I'm going for like a more natural look because it just kind of looks like the sun kissed me. Yeah, there we go. And then also, you know, you gotta do a little on the bridge of your nose. Maybe just a little bit more up here. Okay, 
Next, I'm gonna do my lashes. Lashes are the most important thing to me. Like if I if I don't feel like doing any of this, I'll probably at least just put on a little mascara. So I do curl. And then honestly, like my tried and true mascara, I like don't stray from this really almost ever, is the um, Lancome Hypnose Drama. It just works for me. Like again, as somebody with somebody with darker features, like I have darker eyes, darker eyebrows, I need something a little more dramatic for my eyelashes it, to kind of bring it up to speed with the rest of my features, I guess. So this really does the trick. I'm noticing just a little shine, kind of, by my lips. So I'm just gonna powder that area. And then last but not least is the lips for the makeup. Um, I've really, really been into these Rem Beauty products. So we have the um, the lip stain, which sometimes doesn't really work if I have this lip mask on. And I use this um, Rem Beauty lip plumping. I think it's in the shade VCR. And I don't use that much, just a little bit. And that's it for makeup. Uh, let's move on to hair next. I use this Infinity Pro by Conair. And I honestly always, but especially in the summer, like I like to have just a nice natural looking wave going on. It just makes me feel like a mermaid, I don't know. I use this Bumble and Bumble Heat Shield Thermal Protection Mist whenever I apply heat to my hair. I'm not huge on like blow drying my hair. Like I feel like the less heat the better and my hair dries naturally like this, which is like good. I also like to use this Bumble and Bumble heat UV protective primer because uh, it's, you know, the UV index is usually a little, a little higher in the summer and we like to protect our hair. As you can see, I mean, it's not really anything like, I don't look like I like did my hair. It's just kind of like a natural, like natural little wave. I then use this post-workout dry shampoo mist, you know, throughout the day as well, post-workout. This product just smells so good. This is also from Bumble and Bumble. And I find that like dry shampoo just kind of, you know, gives you a little, little volume. So yeah, this is it. This is just kind of like the natural vibe. But yeah, I mean, it's just very like, it doesn't really look like I'm wearing much of anything and um i just feel feel slightly elevated and like ready to start my day so it's like not a good time of day for me filming yeah but i think above all else like in the summer it's just you know it's important that you use stuff that's going to protect your hair and protect your face from the sun and from uv rays um you drink you know a lot of water and i think just like you know avoiding using a lot of product i think it's just always good in the summer you know you just kind of want want to have that natural glow from within at least that's what i like for myself so yeah i will link all the products down below for you guys um thanks so much for watching if you have any requests for any other looks or stuff that you'd like to see just leave them down below and um i'll see you in the next one